Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us again. We are joined by Steve Bradford. He's a member of the California State Assembly. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. As you know, we have significant unemployment in our state, and that unemployment is even greater when you look at communities of color. And so you're looking to change that formula. Talk to us about what you're proposing in Sacramento. Uh, a, a few bills that deal with hopefully impacting unemployment rates, especially with people of color. Uh, a bill that the governor just signed last week was my expungement bill that allowed the governor greater discretion, not the governor, I should say, the court system's greater right. dis exp uh, discretion on expunging misdemeanor convictions uh, that led to jail time. Prior to that, the uh, court system only could expunge those records that led to probation. Now you can expunge records that uh, if you did jail time and it, you've been rehabilitated. It's interesting you say that because I've spoken with many people who happen to be in recovery. And so often they say, I'm clean, but I have a conviction, and so I can't get a job. Yeah. And so you're looking to address that very fact. Yes, we've talked to employers, and outside of jobs being available, when they are, one of the biggest impediments for folks looking for a job is a, pri or a previous conviction. So we hope this helps alleviate that problem. California leads the nation in recidivism with a 70% recidivism rate. So we're seeing if you give these folks a job, chances are they will not reoffend or commit another and crime. And you're hopeful that through prison realignment, folks will be serving their time closer to home, they're part of their communities, and as a result as being part of their communities, they can reintegrate more easily and therefore decrease the unemployment rate that way. Potentially. Well, that's the reality of what we're being left with uh, mm -hmm. based on the governor's proposal. So these folks are coming to a community ne near you, uh, if not right, you know, in your own neighborhood. So mm -hmm. we need to have these programs available to allow them the best uh, opportunities for success. What about the question of uh, supplier diversity? Mm -hmm. That's something that you've been focused on. Talk to us about supplier diversity programs. Very much so. Um, last year, I authored AB 2758, I believe it was that expanded GL 156, which was codified in law by which means. <laughs> Winmore, that uh, encouraged the utilities to contract and procure with women-owned, minority-owned, and disabled veterans businesses. The governor just signed my bill 1386 last week that expands that market that includes now cable and the satellite industry, understanding that the state and the federal government are making billions of dollars of grants and loans available to industries such as yours, so Do, we're hoping. Does it also include other entities that are regulated by the Public Utilities Commission? Yes. And, and so what will the program look like? What does this now mean for public utilities? What it's meant for the last 25 years for public utilities is a greater diversity, greater opportunities for small businesses, understanding that women make up 50% 50, 50 of this population and people of color make up 60%. In the last year, the spin with Minority-owned, women-owned businesses has increased by 23%. Last this year, uh, utilities will spend 4.2 billion dollars with women-owned, minority-owned, disabled veterans-owned businesses. So now, I think you know, recently, Time Warner Cable held a supplier diversity fair. It was extremely well attended, mm -hmm. and it looks as if we are seeing companies of all stripes focused upon trying to hire people and or retain companies for services regardless of who may own it or not, and that's really the goal in the final analysis. Without a doubt, without a doubt. How will we track whether this type of program is effective? Because I believe it's voluntary. Well, for the cable industry it is, mm -hmm. but for uh, the utilities it's mandatory, but with uh, the cable industry you'll give an annual report to the legislature, letting us know what those programs were, how successful you were, and then the PUC will post it on their website. Okay, his name is Steve Bradford. He's a member of the California State Assembly. My name is Brad Palmer. I want to thank you so much for watching Local Edition, and now we're going to send you back to HLN.